the title of my sermon in today is Why Can't We Just Get Along? Now, there's some in the audience that are not, uh, even won't even remember what that is, but you remember Rodney King uh, was stopped by a, in a high-speed chase and beaten up by the police, and it was captured on videotape 20 years ago. And uh, those police officers were acquitted and that created rioting in the streets of Los Angeles, and 58 other people died from the riots themselves. But it's... Uh, to me, it's shocking that we haven't really come that far. Now the police are, you know, there have been just recently, oh, thank you. Recently, there's been um, in, in Staten Island, a, a gentleman was uh, choked to death. Uh, and then in, in uh, Ferguson, Missouri, there was an unarmed young man, a young, young armed black man who was killed uh, by police. So we're really looking at a great divide in America today. And so not only do we have uh, the ISIS and the Ebola, we also have this racial divide. In Israel, there's fighting between the Hamas and, the, and the, the, the Israel. It's like the world is coming apart. So you might ask, what hope do we have? But I would like to say this is actually an opportunity for us, because we are the hope for the world. Is that right? <laughs> so this morning I'd like to share a few reasons for hope. Uh, before I do that, I want to just announce that there's going to be a, on, on September the 20th, there'll be a national memorial tribute to, to Father Moon, to our true father. It'll be in the Manhattan Center. We're expecting 3,000 people, so you want to get there early. I think the program begins at 1030, but the doors will open at 930. And uh, there'll also be a, we're talking about a VIP luncheon afterwards, so there'll be a chance for you to uh, get some more details on that. But please mark your calendars for Saturday, September the 20th. And also today's, the tw there's 21 days between now and that September 20th program. So we're, we're, we want to start a 21 day prayer condition. So please be praying for that, uh, for the success of that national memorial tribute, that it can be a real educational opportunity for our guests to come and learn more about what Father's doing. But it's not just looking back to what Father did 40 years ago, 30 years ago, but what is Father's legacy continuing today. So that's gonna be a very valuable program for you to participate in and also to bring your guests. But that leads me to the point of my message today. Uh, 21 day prayer condition. We make conditions, don't we? That's what Father has said, that restoration is indemnity through, I'm sorry, restoration through indemnity. That by making conditions, we can begin to change the world. Uh, <laughs> this morning, I had one of those kind of God experiences where I was, I had, I got up this morning and said, well, I, I'm not going to, maybe, should I have breakfast or not? You know, I may not, I may need a little energy, so I better go eat something. So, so but maybe it's a better condition not to eat, you know, one of these sort of things. You ever had that kind of uh, do this or do that and not knowing what to do? So I, uh, I went across the street, there's a little cafe there, and you can get a bowl of oatmeal for a buck. And so I, I went across the street, but it was locked up today. So I said, oh darn, I guess I don't get my breakfast. As I was walking back over here, there was a, a, a lady taking pictures of the windows of our building here. And I saw her, and I walked by her, and then I was standing there, and I looked back, and then she came over and took another picture. And I said, you must be very interested in some of the, the windows there. And she said, yeah, there's, there's a couple of words in each little window pane that just catches my attention. And so I said, well, you have to come to our Sunday service. And she said, no, I can't come today. I've got to go to my, my son-in-law and daughter-in-law, my son and daughter-in-law. And, uh, but she said, I'd like to know more about it. So I gave her the dplife.org uh, information and also gave her my information. I got her email address, so we'll be in touch with each other. But anyway, that, I felt like, well, if I'd had my breakfast, guess what? <laughs> so, so, so conditions somehow change the things around, don't they? Yes. I think also the way we think about people affects the way they relate to us. Uh, uh, two Sundays ago, I was giving the message in Queen's Church. 
And I, as I left the building here, I sort of thought to myself, well, I can, I can be a, a happy maker. I can really give people joy wherever I go. And I was so shocked when I got out of the subway over there in Queens. I was surprised. Two people actually kind of waved at me and said, good morning, like that, even before I said good morning. It was something where they were feeling, oh, good morning, good to see you. So how we think about other people, how we think about ourselves, really makes a difference.